I am out of coffee. Yes, I opened the can and we have a code silver, guys. If you're new here, code silver is when you can see when you hit pan on your coffee. Yeah, all these beauty gurus are always talking about hitting pan on their, their eyeshadow. When I hit pan, I go into cardiac arrest because it means I'm out of coffee. And um, I'm going to be, see, I'm in my coffee, so my brain's just not, not cognizant. Um, I'm going to be washing my face and using sunscreen from the beauty counter, testing those out today. So if you missed yesterday's vlog, I mentioned that at the end then. And I'm cracking into my uh, biggie size of natural calm here this morning. So watch out, world. There we go, throwing stuff on the floor again. I'm just going to pretend like that didn't happen. All right, let's go wash our face. So just as a reminder, the Beauty Counter is a company that um, whose premise is that their uh, products are safe for the environment. Nourishing cream cleanser, I'm gonna start with that. Um, all right, it comes out like, like that. It has a fragrance to it like citrus. This has fragrance in it, but it's nice. And I just use my finger pads. I bet this would be good for uh, removing makeup. You know what it's like? It's like the Cetaphil Creamy Cleanser. You know that you can get it at Costco, that Jumbo Cetaphil, you all know what I'm talking about? I think this would be good for dry, older skin or um, skin that's uh, maybe irritated from too much exfoliating. This is a nice gentle cleanser, I think. So I do detect a little fragrance additive in it, which could be irritating, but... Um, and now I'm going to come in with their Broad Spectrum Zinc Based Sunscreen here. This is SPF 30. So I'll remind you guys. So I'll remind you guys that a zinc, that zinc and titanium dioxide based sunscreens are physical sunscreens that physically block um, ultraviolet radiation. Whereas chemical sunscreens, things that contain ingredients like avobenzone, they absorb uh, ultraviolet radiation and they're less stable. Chemical sunscreen ingredients are less stable with time. They tend to be more irritating and can cause rashes in sensitized individuals. Just a uh, word of caution to the rosacea prone folks who want to go as bland as possible. One of the problems with the zinc based sunscreens oftentimes is that they um, they leave a, a white chalky residue but this one went in really nicely. I, I like this. Okay and so last up I'm going to come in with um, the dew skin. This is SPF 20. You guys who are dealing with dry skin and want that dewy makeup-y look, I think you would like this. All right, you guys be the judge. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. I'm a dire need of coffee. Maybe I should get one of those machines. Well, guys, here I am in natural light with the dew. I think I do look dewy. Dewy dewy. I'm starting to feel more humanitarian now that I have a few sips of coffee in. Can you see a difference in my personality just two sips in? I think the Cetaphil Creamy Cleanser is pretty, does a decent job of cleansing, but it's not really great at removing makeup. I don't know how good this Creamy Cleanser will be at taking makeup off that she sent. Oh, but one of you guys was asking me about my opinion on the double cleansing thing um, that seems to be popular now, and I actually like the idea. It makes a lot of sense to me having the um, the oil-based cleanser to remove makeup without it being as harsh and stripping on on the on the skin barrier. So I think it makes perfect sense, actually. Good productive morning on my end. I got some work done, and I filmed a uh, eczema tips video for you guys which has been requested uh, on the Instagrams and tubes and what have you. Some of y'all are following me on Instagram and have asked for an eczema tips video, so stay tuned. But, oh, update on the um, dew skin. Am I still looking dewy? I did a little research on dew skin, guys, um, FYI. It, it does have zinc and titanium dioxide in it, which I like as far as sunscreen ingredients. 
But I know what you guys are going to ask. Is this good for acne prone skin? Probably not because it has dimethicone in it, which can be very occlusive. Um, so that's probably what makes it look dewy. But meanwhile, it might break you out. Um, dimethicone is one of those silicon based uh, um, emollients. It has a fair amount of fragrance in it. Both it and the. Uh, I, I haven't looked at the sunscreen. I'm just talking about dew skin here. Um, the dew skin had a fair amount of botanical extracts. <laughs> Like I said this morning, I'm out of Bustelo, so I'm headed to uh, Fiesta, which I haven't actually been to. It's a uh, sort of international grocery store. But yeah, um, I'm here. Okay. And as you can see, it's gorge out. Um, but yeah, not only does it have dimethicone in it, which is uh, going to probably clog your pores, but it also has a lot of fragrance in it. Um, and fragrance, you know, is a common, uh, commonly allergenic. Uh, so I don't think it'd be good for acne prone skin or rosacea prone skin. I wonder how, what you do with this. Roasted millet flour. I guess you make like a... Oh, what is this? Is that what they use to make the doll? Or the naan? What are soya chunks? It's like a cereal? Oh, you are. Uh, oh, yeah. How was your snap yeah, kitchen food? food? All my food. It was all good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, we came, we got what we went in there for, and a little bit more. As always. We got, of course. It was a good deal there. And my mom got some Dundee orange marmalade to have with grits. Please test it. She got a vegetable peeler. Just don't leave home without this. Well, you know I like my veggie chips from the bulk bin. And I got some raisins for my oatmeal, thanks to uh, Q and Alley. Like I said, every time I see her, these are only 98 cents. Uh, Rayarindos. I've never had them. I guess they're tamarind. Rayarindos. All right, so we're gonna try one here. I've never had one before. It's a mouthful, I'll tell you. I'll pass on that, but thanks for giving me the opportunity to have this. Do you want it, the rest of it? No, that's all right. I really enjoy Let's that try place. Their veggie. You want a veggie chip? No, thank you. Well, those look good. I want them. No, honey, I don't want anything else. Check out these radishes, guys. They're huge. Look how beautiful the greenery is on here. I'm just uh, getting them in the veg spa here. So I've reapplied the um, Beauty Counter Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Water Resistant Sunscreen a, a few times today. A note about reapplying your sunscreens, you want to make sure you apply them about 15 to 20 minutes before going outdoors. And then if you're outside for a prolonged period of time, uh, like at the beach for example, or outdoors at, at an event, you want to apply, reapply every two hours. But um, just my review of this, I actually really like it. Um, it goes on really Really nicely. It's quite expensive though. Um, for 4.8 fluid ounces it's $32, okay? So yeah, that's that's just a little update on the beauty counter stuff. Speaking of beauty, oh yeah, oh yeah, in the spa there. I'm gonna hit the gym and I will check in with you guys post shower, okay? We'll have a few more beauty, beauty counter products. Well hey guys! I uh, just finished my run and I'm coming in with the uh, Beauty Counters Purifying Charcoal Mask. I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite ones so far of all of the things that I've tried. I like this because it has, uh, it's a charcoal mask and you guys know I do masks mostly because they're fun. Um, but this one I like because it has um, salicylic acid in it, guys, which you guys know is a beta hydroxy acid, great for acne, concentrates in the oil follicles, and so I think this is one of my favorites. It's a little pricey though, at $45, I believe, for this 2.75 ounce container, but um, I like it, you know. I, I would probably use this, actually. I don't know that I'd spend that, that amount of money on it, but I do like this one. Then, probably the, the thing that I am like, least enthusiastic about honestly I just don't get is the cleansing balm is there cleansing balm 
Um, this is $85 for this 36 gram thing, which, you know, is flag alert number one. It's, um, supposedly it's a vitamin C cleansing balm, and you guys are always jazzed about vitamin C. As I've said on here before, vitamin C is highly unstable on the skin and uh, as an antioxidant. Um, so this, uh, this has vitamin E, which supposedly helps stabilize the vitamin C serum. It doesn't have the ferulic acid, which is another antioxidant that supposedly does. But the puzzling thing to me about this is that it's a cleansing balm that is meant to be wiped off. So I'm not entirely clear what purpose this serves. The vitamin C needs to stay on your skin to have the effects that you're looking for with vitamin C. Um, and so I, I, I think this is just an unnecessary product, honestly. I, I don't see what this, what benefit, if any, this portends. Now on their website, they claim that this is their top seller. Maybe it's a good moisturizer. It has a lot of botanical ingredients in it that again can be irritating. So this is the one that I was least enthusiastic about. Um, but anyways, guys, like I said, I had, a, I had, a, I really enjoyed the opportunity to review these products. I hope this review was helpful for you and maybe introduced the product uh, for those of you who have verbalized your interest in um, environmentally conscientious skincare. Um, and look, it's drying on there. This has to be my favorite thing, this thing right here. I think I'm going to take a picture of myself for the thumbnail. Um, anyways, guys, I'm going to conclude the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye! Thank you.